Sister Lorna is in trouble. She's been missing for two days. It's not loaded. This one is. Perhaps you're forgetting what she was like. She was certain about her place with God. She's probably with Donnie. Her ex-husband, Lorna, was married. Donnie's the obvious suspect. I also know he's not capable of doing something like this. I take my vow of celibacy much more seriously than my vow of obedience. Well, what do you think? Hello, do I know you? regarded nuns with a certain kind of respect, someone you gave your seat to on the subway. But they're people just like everybody else. They eat and sleep and laugh and cry. And just like everybody else, nuns can also die. Hi! Hi, Sister Lorna! Oh, I am so tired. <laughs> I want to go on vacation. You know, I'm going on my honeymoon to Paris. <laughs> so bad. I wish I could come. Oh, you're invited. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you? Where are you going on your honeymoon? Well, I want to go to Rome. <laughs> That's good. How about you, Dougie? Where are you going on your vacation? I'm going to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> All right, class. You know what to do. Here. Give me the puppets. Bye, sweetie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why? Well, you didn't sleep very well last night. I heard you tossing and turning. <laughs> Just nerves. Of apprehension or excitement? Happiness. I can't believe that just one week from today I will have taken my final vows. It's finally going to happen. He pushed me. Oh, well, come on, sit down. Let me take a look at this. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. I'll clean it up. And you'll be fine. How's that? Thanks, Sister Amelia. Be careful. I will. It was just one of those mornings. I'd spent a long, rough night with a lady who shall remain nameless, only because I can't remember her name. I wasn't too excited about facing sunlight, and neither was the bowling ball inside my head. I needed to check out of the office and go to the track to heal, but my plans were changed by an unexpected visitor. She's been missing for two days. I know something's wrong. Have you been to the police? This morning. I spoke to, a uh, Captain Chambers. He said he'd look into it, and suggested I contact you in the meantime. Really? With much the same expression on his face as I now see on yours, I might add. Well, maybe that's because we take the same professional view of the situation. Nine times out of ten, these things turn out to be nothing. I didn't believe that when Captain Chambers said it, and I don't believe it now. Sister Lorna is in trouble. And if you won't help me, I'll just have to find someone else who will. Uh, sister. Yes, Mr. Hammer. That's right, isn't it, uh, sister? 
Yes, that would be fine. Why? Well, I just want to know what to call you since I'm going to be working for you. You taking the case? I'm taking the case. Then I imagine you'll be wanting some money. Oh, no, no, that's okay. I've missed the collection plate over the last couple of years. Just call this a donation. God bless you. Mike, I'm sorry I'm late, but I had to... Am I interrupting something? That's okay. I was just leaving. Where to? Yeah, where to? I'm getting me to a nunnery. Sister, after you. Taking final vows is a very big step, Mr. Hammer. Are you suggesting that Sister Lorna got cold feet and decided to think it over? It wouldn't be the first time one of our novitiates reconsidered and left the order. But Sister Lorna was looking forward to taking her vows. That's all she talked about. There was an incident on the playground the other day. Sister Amelia thinks it may have had something to do with Sister Lorna's disappearance. I saw her having an argument with a man, a violent man. She said he was just acting strangely, and she was trying to keep him away from the children. But that seems perfectly plausible to me. Why do you insist on making so much of it? Because Sister Lorna was so upset. Perhaps you're forgetting what she was like when she first came to us. Even you were concerned that she didn't belong here. Sister Lorna had a very difficult childhood. Her parents died when she was very young, and she was brought up by a foster aunt. She was certain about her place with God, though, and with her choice for the future. I'm sorry, Sister Superior. I can't help being worried. Thank you, Sister Amelia. Your concern is admirable. However, your zeal is something we'll discuss later. I have no intention of giving up, Mr. Hammer. Neither do I. Do you know where her room was? Certainly. We were roommates. Have you gone through her things? Of course not. I think you should. There might be a lead. I couldn't do something like that. I could. Impossible. Men aren't allowed in the nuns' quarters. Yeah? Have you got a spare habit? I'd like to have that little talk with you now. Yes. Well, why don't we go down to the library? It, it's much more comfortable there. That won't be necessary. What's going on here, Sister Amelia? I'm sorry, Sister Superior. I can explain. I hope so. It was my intention to suggest that you reflect on your oaths of obedience. Now I see I should add neatness to the list. Yes, Sister. I know how hard you work with Sister Lorna, but sometimes God has other plans, and I know it isn't going to be easy, but you'll have to accept his decision in this matter. Agreed. Agreed. Mr. Hammer? I wish you'd call me Mike. Who's Donnie? Donnie? I don't know. Where did you find that? In here. Some of it's kind of interesting. I don't want to hear it. It isn't right. Forgive me. What does it say? Dear Lorna, why don't you ever answer my letters? It's been hell. I can tell you that, and the worst part is not knowing where you are or what happened to you. No, the worst part is how much I miss you and how much I want to be with you again. Donnie. I don't know who that could be. She never talked about men. Do nuns ever talk about men? Well, Sister Mary Frances and I are in agreement that Tom Cruise was blessed by the good Lord, yes. Hmm. This letter was written in care of Dorothy Putnam, 23 Overland, Long Island City. Is that the same aunt that Sister Superior mentioned? Yes. And if you're going out there, I'm going with you. What about your agreement with Sister Paula? God, Sister Paula and I will have to find a way to work all that out later. Hmm. 
Mrs. Putnam? I'm Sister Amelia, Lorna's roommate. This is Mr. Hammer. He's a private investigator. Uh, we'd like to ask you some questions about Lorna, Mrs. Putnam. Come in, please. Is Lorna in trouble? Is everything all right? Well, that's what we'd like to find out. When was the last time you saw her? Oh, dear. When a private investigator begins a conversation with that question, it usually means the person is missing. Yes, she is. For two days now. She's probably with Donnie. Donnie, her old boyfriend? Her ex-husband, I'm afraid. Lorna was married. We thought we'd gotten rid of Donnie for good. He was released from prison a week ago, and he showed up here demanding to know Lorna's whereabouts. How did he end up in prison? He committed a robbery. He was away for four years. I didn't want to tell him where Lorna was, but he frightened me. Yeah, he's been frightening a lot of people lately. Listen, you don't by any chance have a picture of him, do you? Oh, yes. It's him. That's the man who gave her trouble at the playground. Donnie, uh, what's his last name? Novak. Donnie Novak. Well, thank you, Mrs. Putnam. You've been very helpful. Listen, here's my card. If you hear from Lorna, please get in touch with me. Oh, sure. Uh, Mr. Hammer, I, uh, I don't mean to appear forward, but, uh, many of the private investigators I've read about have given their guns names. Have you? And Dorothy, I'd like you to meet Betsy. Oh. Uh. <gasps> You're really very proud of that gun, aren't you? you? Saved my life more than once. I take it you don't like guns. I hate them. Gray, talk to the bad guys. If they stop using them, so will I. That's not the answer. What is, sister? Where do we go now? Check out Novak with the police. But you better not come along. They use guns, too, you know. Just drive, Hammer. I had to admit I was beginning to like Sister Amelia. She had a certain spunk. And it's not everybody who can put up with a guy like me. Well, I see you two finally got together. Captain. Sister. Thank you. Any luck? Yeah, it turns out that Sister Lorna was married before she went into the convent to a guy named Donnie Novak. Had four years in the slammer, just got out. She might be with him. Yeah, this is Chambers. I want you to contact parole, see if you can get a lead on a Donnie Novak. Just graduated. That's right, Larry. The man found God. I can't believe it myself. Special Prosecutor Lawrence T. Barrington at your service, sister. I feel the need to warn you that this man's soul is long beyond redemption. I mean, a thousand novenas couldn't possibly save it from eternal hellfire. Thank you, Mr. Barrington, but I'm not helping him. Mr. Hammer is helping me. How could he possibly be helping you? The Lord works in mysterious ways, Larry. Hang on. That could be him now. Chambers? Yeah, right. Thank you. Okay, Donnie Novak's got a room at the Ames Hotel. Thanks. Bless you, my son. Mr. Hammer. No problem.
proud Sister Lorna. She wouldn't be taking her final vows. We're here on A and E. Sister Lorna turned up dead in the hotel room of the man she'd been married to, Donnie Novak. Nobody seemed to know much about him. He'd spent time in prison for armed robbery. He had a brother who ran a club in Manhattan. He claimed he loved Lorna in a letter, but he roughed her up outside the school and he'd been missing ever since. Was he the one who killed her? upsetting for all of us. Mrs. Putnam, is that Donnie's brother? Ray, complete opposite of Donnie. Went to college, made something of himself. He's a wonderful, kind man. Thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Novak. My name is Mike Hammer. Do you mind if I... Talk to you for a second? Sure. I understand you're looking for my brother. Yeah. Has he contacted you? I haven't seen him in a year. I knew he was coming out, but he never even called me. This was all part of growing up for us. St. Regina. We all came here. Me, Donnie, Lorna. I know what he felt for her. And I know he couldn't have harmed her. She's dead and he's missing. Donnie's the obvious suspect. I know. I also know he's not capable of doing something like this. Well. Then where was he? If he didn't kill Lorna, why didn't he show up at her funeral? Are you okay? No. Is there anything I can do for you? No. You let me know if there is. See anything interesting? Yeah, you and Donnie Novak's brother. This is a police matter. I want you to stay out of it. Come on, Pat. What'd you find out? Mike, I got a murder and a suspect. Mark the file closed. Take Sister Mia to a movie or something. Where was the robbery? Oh, you're a pain. American Aeronautics payroll job. Yeah, who are the players? Well, that's something nobody ever figured out. Donnie Novak was the only one caught and he never talked. The money just vanished, never surfaced. That was that. No other suspects? Uh, one, this guy Jack Cooley, an old pal of Donnie's. Get this, Mike. Worked as a security guard at American Aeronautics. Yeah? Sounds like an inside job. Yeah, well, we checked him out for about three, four years. Figured he might get bored with his lifestyle and upscale it. How upscale? How about 400 grand? 400 grand can buy you a lot of smiles. Maybe figured it was worth the wait. Keep the tears off your cheeks. Yeah, but since when does money buy happiness? Yeah, right. See ya. I headed out to Kennedy, to the aeronautics plant where Donnie Novak and his pals took $400,000. A guy named Tom Casey had been there the night of the robbery, and I was hoping he could tell me something about Jack Cooley. Oh, yeah, Cooley was involved. I'll bet my pension on it. I couldn't pin it on him, but circumstances gave me grounds for dismissal, and I took him. He didn't like it much, but then I never liked him much either. They were wearing masks. What makes you so sure it was Cooley? Just a gut reaction, Mr. Hammer. What else did your gut tell you about that night? Oh, nothing much, but... Uh... I'm sure there was one or two more waiting outside. I mean, I had my hands full. Any idea where I can find Cooley? Last time I heard, he was working in a sporting goods store over on the Lower East Side. Thanks, Casey. Yeah. Things were beginning to come together. I had a strong feeling if I could find that 400 grand, I could get to Sister Lorna's killer. If Jack Cooley was involved with the robbery, he might bring me a little closer. Excuse me. 
Jack Cooley? Yes, sir. My name is Mike Hammer. I'm a private investigator. When was the last time you heard from Donnie Novak? Donnie Novak? It's been quite a while. Then you didn't know he was out of prison? Nope. What are you asking me for? Because of a payroll heist at a company that used to sign your checks. Come on. I had nothing to do with that. It was a bum rap. And it cost me my security clearance. And I don't like people checking up on me, Hammer. I don't like people pointing guns at me, pal. Relax, pal. It's not loaded. <laughs> yeah? Well... This one is. Sister, do you have any idea what he was looking for? Not the slightest. What about $400,000? Mr. Hammer, are you saying that Sister Lorna was involved with some criminal concealment? No, but I think it's clear that Sister Lorna's death, along with the attack on Sister Amelia tonight, are more than just a coincidence. Good evening, sisters. I came as soon as I heard. Lawrence? Lawrence Barrington? Aren't you the one that used to stay after class and clean the boards for me? Yes, you're little Larry Barrington. All the girls used to call you Goldilocks. Sister Paula, hi. Goldilocks? My hair was lighter in those days. The three bears are looking for you. You stole their porridge. Excuse me, could we all digress momentarily? Captain, what have we turned up so far? Oh, we figured it had to be uh, Donnie Novak. Well, of course it was Donnie Novak. That's as obvious as snow in winter. But I'll tell you what I've discerned here. Very distinct and very obvious pattern. Gentlemen, ladies, sisters, the pattern of an emerging serial killer. Mr. Barrington, the man who did this was not trying to kill me. No. He was obviously looking for something. When Sister Amelia arrived and surprised him, the only thought he had was to get out of there. If he wanted to kill her, he would have stuck around and waited for her. That's exactly my point. There's no accounting for the mind of the criminally insane. I'll remember that, Goldilocks. Sisters... Thank you. What do you think, Miguel? I don't think the 400000 was ever spent. <laughs> Where is it? Donnie Novak entrusted it to his wife. Then they separate. Exactly. She annuls the marriage and then makes amends for her wrong choice by giving herself to God. Good theory. Well, if she found God and reformed, why didn't she return the money? Maybe she was sitting on it until Donnie got out of jail. Then she'd get herself transferred to a nice convent in Buenos Aires. Great theory. Later. Morning. Glad you're here. I just tried you at home. Donnie Novak called. When? About a half hour ago. He says he wants to talk. You're to meet him in Central Park at the little bridge near Sheep's Meadow. As soon as you can get there. I'm out of here. Hey. You come back for lunch? Don't wait up for me. Oh. Donnie Novak steals $400,000 and gets sent to prison for it. Before he goes, he gives the money to his wife, who becomes a nun. When he gets out, she won't give it back to him. It sounded like a good motive for murder to me, but the only one who could tell me for sure was Donnie Novak. Novak? You hammer? Yeah. I hope you came alone, buddy. You wanted to talk. I didn't kill Lorna. I loved her. Why didn't you show up when she died? Because they'd never believe me. They'll railroad me right back into the slammer. So who killed her? I don't know. Why should I believe you, Donnie? Lorna had something that you wanted. She wouldn't give it to you. So you roughed her up, and the next thing, she winds up dead in your hotel room. Then you went back the next night, and you worked over her roommate. What? That wasn't me. Listen, this is serious business, pal. 
I strongly suggest you start talking, because if you don't, you're looking at 20 to life. It's complicated. I'm sure it is. Can we talk someplace else? Sure, let's take a walk. Johnny Novak spent years in prison living for his $400,000. Now he died for it. Website. I didn't have much choice. I had to believe that Donny Novak didn't kill Sister Lorna and didn't ransack her room looking for the 400 grand. But then who did? Donny couldn't tell me. But when he died, he was carrying something in his pocket that might lead to the answer. Spring cleaning? No. Sister Lorna's things. Thank you. And I uh, found this on Donnie Novak's body in his pocket. He's the one in the middle. I know it was dark the night they ransacked your room, but do you recognize the other two? No. Sorry. Uh, I'll get this clean. Need a hand? Please. Very sorry about your brother, Mr. Novak. Thank you, sister. I guess it's been a bad week for both of us, hasn't it? I remember Donnie in my prayers. There's a nice... Leo's? Sister Lorna's. Mr. Novak, do you recognize any of the kids in the picture with Donnie? Yeah. They're from the old neighborhood. I don't remember their names, though. I better be going. I've got an appointment with Father Burton to arrange for Donnie's funeral. Looked after my little brother all my life. Never thought I'd be doing this. God be with you. Sister, I don't mean to frighten you, but after all that's happened, maybe you should consider police protection. I can assure you, Mr. Hammer, I'm in very good hands. Well, I would imagine God has more than he can handle sometimes, just like the rest of us. Yes. But, Mr. Hammer, I've also got you. At least when you lift evidence from the scene of a crime, you return it. Come on, Pat. I felt sorry for you. You've been looking tired lately. I thought I'd take some work off your shoulder. Oh, really? Thanks a lot. And what did you find out from me? Absolutely nothing. Now, Cooley would know who those two guys with Donnie are, but he's not much of a talker. Yeah, but the question is, where would a nun stash the loot from a robbery? It's a good question. I don't know. Maybe we should call the Vatican. Hey, uh... a daiquiri, and a Virgin Mary. I thought you didn't like guns. I don't, especially when they're pointed at me. What happened? They tried to grab me at the school. Two men in ski masks jumped out of a van and chased me across the schoolyard. Did you call the police? No, I called you. Your secretary told me I'd find you here. Well... What do we do now? We get out of here. You'll sleep with me tonight. Well, in my apartment. 
Jenny, yes. call Pat Chambers and tell him to meet me at my place. Anything you like, Mike. Excuse the mess, sister. My maid is on vacation. Listen, can I get you something? Uh, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a glass of milk. I could use a double scotch. Yeah? But one of those would be fine. Okay. I just want you to make yourself at home, you know? Watch TV, read a magazine. I'm glad you said that, sister. I, I just didn't want you to think that I had any ulterior motives, if you know what I mean. Mr. Hammer, believe me, I take my vow of celibacy much more seriously than my vow of obedience. Well, now that you mention it, I've always wondered about that. I mean, why would anybody choose not to... Be with a man? Yeah. That's a very good question, Mr. Hammer. It all comes down to priorities, I suppose. But I assure you, nuns are women. Hmm. I am aware of my physicality. For some of us, the most difficult part of the vocation is not being loved exclusively by one person. I know what you mean. I've had trouble with that one myself. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Hey. Oh, hi, sister. Captain Chambers. Mike, what's going on? Well, a couple of goons tried to hijack Sister, but she turned him down. They also left her a little souvenir. Run a tracer on that, will you? Not gonna let this one go, are you, Mike? Nope. The ballistics run it down. Call me as soon as you find out anything, will you? What are you staring at? You gotta clean this place up a little bit. Well, we should have something by tomorrow morning. Speaking of which, where do I sleep? Oh, I'll, I'll take the couch. Uh, you can sleep in the bedroom. Thank you. Hmm. Good night. Good night. Uh, if you want something more comfortable to sleep in, uh, I've got a couple of leftover nighties in the dresser. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> well, I'm impressed. Where did you learn to cook like this? I was the only girl in a family of six brothers. Six brothers? It must have been a relief to go to the convent. Forty-seven sisters isn't much easier. Yeah. You got it. Okay, thanks. They traced the gun. My hunch was right. Let's go. Where are we going? Well, I'm not crazy about leaving you here, and I'm sure not crazy about you coming with me in that outfit. Then what do you suggest? Well, what do you think? Hello. Do I know you? It's not really me. Well, we could argue about that, but I haven't got time. Listen, I want you to get a taxi, go to the Life and Easy, find a table, and wait until I get there. Well, can't I go with you? Not this time. I gotta talk to a man about a gun. talking about your gun uh, the one you left at the convent don't tell me you forgot it on the way out of confession uh, what does sister amelia have it you want uh, huh now's the time for confession pal uh, a key uh, there's a key in one of the puppets which one i don't know i don't know uh, 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 Mike, listen, I got something for you. Yeah, Jack Cooley at the Eastside Sporting Goods Store. Assault and probably murder. Yeah, Sister Lorna. Send the car. <laughs> Pat, you better make
I got a hearse. We're here on A and E. Hi, how are you? Sister. Yes. The box of puppets that I carried for you the other day. What did you do with it? I gave them to Sister Mary Frances. She's taking over Sister Lorna's class. We better get over there fast. Why? What's going on? There's a key inside one of those puppets. That's what they've been after. Then why did they kill Sister Lorna if that's all they wanted? If she knew who all the players were, they couldn't take a chance that she'd talk. Come on. <laughs> Which one could it be? There must be 50 of them. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think I just spotted a way to narrow the odds. You remember that photograph we saw at Aunt Dorothy's? Mm -hmm. Lorna was a very happy bride, as I remember. I'll explain later. Hi there. My name is Mike. What's yours? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, that's a good thing to remember, but I'm really not a stranger. I'm a friend of Sister Amelia's. That's right, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer, that's a nice name. Jennifer, do you mind if I borrow your puppet for just a minute? I need it to help me solve a problem. Maybe you could play with somebody else's for a little while. No. Me and Timmy were planning to get married. Oh, I see. I understand. Oh, that's okay. This is a much better one anyway. Look at this puppet, huh? I'll bet this one is much smarter. I'll bet she's going to grow up to be a very rich puppet, huh? Can I have that one? Well... You want to trade? Yeah. You sure you want to trade? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Huh. Quite the con artist. I'll take after my mother. traced it to a locker at a public storage facility on the Lower West Side. This was the place that Sister Lona chose to put her worldly possessions on hold. Start over here. the two goons who took the money, but I had a good idea who they worked for. Even though the key was in the puppet, the puppets were the key. 
I remembered someone else who was interested in them. He owned a fancy club in New York's latest high-rise hotel. Bless you. You better stay here. Yes, sir, no problem. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hammer. What can I do for you? Plenty, Ray. I think I've got an angle on your brother's killer. Who did it? You remember this picture? The clown on the left is Jack Cooley. The one on the right just left the table. Well, that's impossible. Use your eyes, pal. It's all there. What Donnie didn't tell me is that there were four guys in on the robbery. The three of them and you. You're crazy, Hannah. It has to be you, Ray. It all figured from the moment they started coming after Sister Amelia. You're the only one I knew about the puppets. So you sicked your goons on her. In there, sister. Let's go. Two big guys didn't have a prayer against a nun. Come on. Almost makes you religious. It's her turn to pray. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. All right, move it. Both of you. The exit. Yeah. What about you? Do one to other sister. certainly has been an experience. There must be some way I can repay you. Yeah, put in a good word for me every now and then. You know, you could do that for yourself if you wanted to. Well, I figure you've got a more direct line. Very well. I'll remember you in my prayers. Uh-oh. Don't forget what I told you. Faint with the left, follow with the right cross, and ten Hail Marys. That's a just about cover it. Thanks for everything, Michael. In my line of work, you run into people with all kinds of habits, but none quite like these. I must admit it felt good knowing someone with friends in high places.
biography soars to new heights with an all-new special presentation of Moses, Sunday at 8 Eastern, 9 Pacific. Now at a trendy sensitivity spa, Laura and Remington finally share how they really feel about each other. Next on a and 